like so many of my makeup designs, this one was born in my sketchbook, just me, my pencil, and the paper. And in my mind, I envisioned a biomechanical style design that would wrap around my chest and shoulders. As this concept developed, it became a little more meaningful to me. I've always been a very quiet and reserved person, an introvert to the extreme, and I've always kind of kept myself under a lock and key. But through makeup and through social media, I have become who I want to be. And in a sense, I have unlocked my happiness, which is why I decided to include a keyhole in my design. To tackle the symmetry beast of this design, I decided to make stencils. This technique is very helpful, especially if you're doing any kind of body art. And I started by making a copy of my shoulders and chest with saran wrap or cling film. Since saran wrap is clear, it allows you to easily outline any body part that you choose. Next, I placed the saran wrap copy onto a thick drawing paper and traced a pencil over the outline. The pencil will leave an indent on the paper, which I then traced over with a sharpie again. Onto the map of my chest, I began to sketch in my design with a pencil. And I start with very loose pencil strokes at first. And as I get a little further with the design, I will start to refine the forms. Once I was happy with all the forms, I traced over the lines with a sharpie. To make the paper stencil more sturdy, I applied layers of clear packing tape. This step is very important because it seals the paper from being stained by the makeup, and it's also going to make the paper thicker, which will make it easier to use as a stencil. Next, I use scissors and an X-Acto knife to cut out the stencil design. Please be very careful when you're doing this. X-Acto knives are very, very dangerous. But once you have that design cut out, your stencils are ready and all the hard work is pretty much done. So let's move right on into the fun part, which is the makeup, of course. I applied NYX's Angel Veil Primer to my face and to my neck and chest. Priming the skin is always a good idea because it's going to help your makeup last longer and it's also going to make the application go a bit smoother. So keeping with that priming theme, I applied This Is Everything Lip Loving Balm to my lips. With the peach concealer from the NYX palette, I color corrected underneath my eyes. I applied this concealer directly on top of the circles in a light layer, then I blended it out with my finger. I always try to focus conceal, that way my foundation doesn't look cakey and the concealer doesn't crease. To color correct the redness in my cheeks and around my nose, I applied thin layers of the green concealer from this palette. Again, working in thin layers is going to prevent creasing while still covering the problem areas. Foundation and concealer for me is about making the skin look its best and making it still look like skin, so I feel like less is more in this application. Next, I applied NYX's Total Control Drop Foundation in the color Vanilla. I bought the foundation into my skin with the NYX number 22 brush. I filled in my eyebrows with a brow pencil. I like to use short hair-like strokes to fill in any sparseness and also to define the eyebrow tail. To my eyelid, I swept NYX's Naked Truth eyeshadow. With the color Tweed, also from NYX, I defined my crease. I swept the eyeshadow in rainbow motions to the lid and blended it further with a fluffy brush. Under the eye, I also applied the Tweed color, making sure to diffuse that shadow for a soft eye effect. Next, I deepened the Tweed with NYX's Primal color in Hot Black, making sure to blend the two colors together. And at this point, I decided to move on to other areas. I will be finishing the eyes later on in this tutorial. With the NYX Highlighter and Contour Pro Palette and the number 24 brush, I contoured my cheeks, underneath my jaw, and down the sides of my nose. With the brow pencil, I drew a vertical line in the center of my chest. This is going to serve as an anchor point for the stencils. Next, I placed the stencil on my chest and lined everything up. Once I was happy with the placement, I stamped the tweed eyeshadow around the negative space of the stencils. And I worked in small sections, holding the stencil down with my fingers. And I also worked very slowly to ensure that the stencil stayed in its original place. 
To define the design, I used NYX's eyebrow powder pencil in espresso. I traced the lines and blended the pencil outwards. I also applied the darkest brown from the contour palette on top of the pencil and blended that outwards as well with the number 35 brush. As you'll see, I worked in sections for this whole makeup and I moved around the design constantly. And there's really no reason other than that's what I felt like doing. As they say, there's a million roads to take that lead kind of to the same place. Next, I shaded the deepest parts with the hot black eyeshadow. This is really where I created the depth that I originally envisioned. This will really sell the 3D nature of this design. To clean up those edges, I used the NYX micellar water, Q-tips, and baby wipes. Let's get back to those eyes. I applied NYX's glitter primer to my eyelid and then patted copper face and body glitter on top. I definitely suggest having a tissue handy to block glitter fallout on the face. I added a winged liner using the Epic Ink Liner in Black by NYX. I also lined my bottom lid with black as well. My idea for the lips was to create a velvety black texture, so I applied NYX's Vamped Up Lip Top Coat to my lips, then I patted the matte hot black eyeshadow on top. To set my face and body art, I sprayed generous amounts of the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. And one of the final little details to add is the keyhole. I sketched it in with the hot black eyeshadow and then filled it in with the Epic Ink Liner. I decided to add a little bit more drama to the eyes, so I took that hot black eyeshadow, kind of smeared it down on my cheeks in a tear-like fashion. And then I took the glitter primer, patted a little bit onto the black, and then I patted a little bit of the copper face and body glitter on top of that. I really just wanted to add some shine since everything was pretty matte in this look, and glitter is the key to my heart and probably a lot of you guys's. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like. I do plan on creating some more videos for you guys. It's been a while since I've uploaded a tutorial, but now that I've had some downtime from work, I'm gonna be able to create some more videos for you guys. So thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye.